If you want to learn any new tool like Tableau, Power BI, or any other programming languages, you need always a good dataset for training and practicing. I start searching for good training datasets, and after a lot of research, I downloaded like many, many datasets. But I was not happy with them. I didn't like them because they don't cover all the scenarios that we need for training. Let me tell you why this is an issue. In real projects, your data can be stored typically in data warehouses or data lakes inside many, many different tables. And the first step in any visualization tools like Tableau or Power BI is to connect those tables tables and combine them in one big data model. So training with only one table not gonna help you and prepare you for real projects. And that's why I decided to make my own datasets to cover all the training scenarios and to have multiple tables in order to learn how to combine them in one data model. And of course you can use my dataset in order to learn anything else like SQL, Python, Power BI and so on. So let's see what I have prepared for you. Alright, so the link for the datasets, you can find it at the video description over here. So let's go there. And if you want to download the free datasets, you can subscribe to my website. So let's do that. And as you can see, we have two datasets, small and big. We need both of them for the training. So let's go and download them. Once here and once over here. Let's go to the download folder. So we have here two zip files. We're going to go and extract them one by one. The first one click extract all and then extract and we're gonna do the same for the small one so extract all and extract and now it's really important to understand that if you connect now tableau directly to those files in the download and then you change your mind later where you're gonna move them somewhere else you will start getting errors in tableau and that's why i recommend you to find somewhere at your pc where you can put those files and don't change it later so now i'm gonna go and move them in Tableau data over here that I prepared and now here it's more safe so we don't lose connection in Tableau. Okay so now let's open both of them and see what do we have inside them. So as you can see we have almost the same table so customers we have orders products and so on so they are almost identical and now you might ask me why do we have two datasets well because we have many different types of calculations and functions for example some calculations gonna change the data at the raw level and it's better to have a small data set in order to understand the results easily and in the other hand we have calculations like aggregations on the table LOD it's better to have many data in order to understand how it works and that's why I have decided to have two data sets in order to cover all those scenarios and another thing about the data sets is that the file type is csv we have only one json over here so you can use either tableau public or tableau desktop in order to follow me in the course all right so now i'm gonna walk you through the data model of our data sets here we have three typical tables our data sets contain information about the superstore use case it is simply sales transactions of customers ordering products by a company it's classic and very easy to understand the first table in our data model is the customers table it contains all customer informations such as the name of the customers their locations and their score in the small data set we have five customers and in the big one we have around 800 customers and the second table in our data model is the orders it contains all the orders placed by the customers so we have informations like the order date sales quantity and profits in the small data sets we have 10 orders and in the big data set we have around five years of data and that's really helpful once we start building clusters and the third table in our data model is the products it contains all the products that we find inside our superstore so we have informations like the product name category and the sub category in the small data set we have only five products in the category monitor and accessories but in the big data sets we have more than 2000 products with categories and subcategories all right so now we have those three tables but as well we have a relationships between them like for example there is a relationship between the orders and customers they can be connected using the customer id and if you check the orders and products you can find another relationship between them where you can find the product ids in both both tables and with that we can make a relationship between the orders and products all right guys so i left all those informations in my website you can find there all the links to the data sets that i found during my research so you can go there and check them if you want all right so now with that we have everything we have the
have the tools, we have the data, we have the accounts. Next, we will go and build our first visualization in Tableau and we're gonna publish it in our new Tableau public account. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.